Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 7. Let's see how much I can get my ass kicked this time. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, how, okay, here we wait. Yes. <sighs> Thank God. Waste too much time on that. Oh, wait, here we go. Um, what we got? Turtles? Turtle Kermit? Let's go down here. Oh, Lordy. We got more up and down water here. Eventually I'm gonna have to visit that, um, shop that I've learned about. You really gotta watch what you're doing in this water, because if you jump from too high up, you're gonna go straight down to the spikes like I almost did right there, and then sometimes you take hits and you just can't help it. But other times you'll have to wait till just the right moment. Fortunately, you don't like get crushed against the ceiling or any of that garbage. Huh. I, I'm not taking any chances there. You can see there's spikes above me, too. You might have to get rid of that first. And that, and that. Stop here, or else I'm gonna die there. Yeah, this is just one of those where you have to take it slowly. I remember when I used to see the commercials for Sonic games, I'm like, well, yeah, I'm, even at that point in my life, I already knew better than to believe if something's too good to be true. Like, er, <laughs> I, just, I don't know what I'm talking about here, but like, you know, normally when you see the commercials, you think the whole game is like that, you're running really fast, and it's like really fast-paced, but you know there's got to be parts of those games where you got to stop, you know, for shit like that. And it's just like, fuck. Okay, I'm just cussing gratuitously at this point. Yeah, so yeah, he's going to blow these bubbles out of the ground, and you're probably actually better off using charge shots here, but these ones right here, these are the problem. Yeah, they just fall right into the next one. Especially if you take a hit, then, then you can't shoot for all that time. What, two times in a row? Ugh. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah, just keep shooting as fast as you can, I guess. That's about all you can do. Oh, what, are you just gonna corner me and do that now? Uh, how much of a coward can you possibly be? Ugh. Just let me get under you. Jump again, please. Jump, 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 jump. Thank you. Alright, now we got the situation under control here. No, 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 don't you dare. See, and then they got those little exploding things after, after the fact. Oh, it's a good thing I got carpal tunnel syndrome, I tell you. Or, like, not carpal tunnel syndrome, but whatever that is. Alzheimer's. No, not Alzheimer's. Um, Parkinson's. Yeah, there we go. Where you can actually control it. So look at that, we actually beat a robot master. Ugh. Man. I thought I was never gonna beat one. Ugh. Well, I knew eventually I was going to. So Mega Man takes his weapon back to Dr. Light and asks him a question about the da danger rat rat huh? Fires out a bomb encased in a bubble, doesn't it? And Dr. Light says yes, but it can also be used to encase other things besides bombs. Ooh, yeah. Every weapon has, like, an alternate usage that he'll explain in this little bit of dialogue that happens after you get the weapon, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Alright, so... I believe you can use his weapon against Cloud Man, who's over here. Starting to get things straight here. Oh man, I went to go to the store. Oh well. Maybe if I get lucky, and I, well, not get lucky, but maybe if I actually use my brain a little bit here and beat this guy, then we'll have time to do that at the end of the video, kind of mess around, because it should only take about five minutes to do this. It's not really that hard. It's Mega Maid! She's gone from suck to blow! Suck to blow? Do something! Do something! Ugh. No, John. You need to do something! Oh. If you haven't seen the movie John Q, it kicks ass. Um. Maybe I shouldn't be shooting that thing, you know? Because he's just making it rain. See, we've already been through this, but now I'm just saying different things, you know? Did I? Oh, no, that was... Wait, did I have to fight Proto Man last time? Or did he kill me? Maybe I died. I can't remember what happened with Proto Man last time now. I know he talked. Supposedly, there, he, he appears in, like, three different stages and gives you advice. And if you find him all three times, then, uh, I guess you get something, like the Proto Shield or something. That sounds kind of cool. There's also supposedly something right at the beginning of the stage if you go to the left and use Rush Search. I think it's the Junk Man stage. And you find something there, so. And I'll have to check that out later. Yeah, but doing the research sure does help. It doth help indeed. Okay, 
we almost done here? This is so much like Airman's stage, it's unreal. Oh yeah, then we got this, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, let's see. <coughs> this was also, like the Airman stage was also where you use the trick with the leaf shield, which you can also do here with the jump shield and just get all these bolts and stuff. Hmm. Well, that was not nearly as nerve-wracking as it was before, so thank goodness for that. So how's everybody doing today? Today is what a change. Oh man, Lost starts tomorrow night. I cannot tell you how excited I am for that. Oh my god. Oh my pork. I'm just like dying here to see the premiere of season 5. Everybody's saying that like the first three minutes are like really important. It's like, what? Well, yeah, I mean, the seasons have always started out really with something, with some kind of mind-blowing scene, but season 4 didn't really start out like that that much. And of course it didn't help that you got spoilers in your face no matter where you went. I've tried my best to stay unspoiled for season 5, but I've still learned a few things, so obviously I'm not going to say what they are because I don't want to do it for somebody else, to ruin it for somebody else. Turn your fan around. Go from suck to blow. Thank you. Oh, no. Alright, be careful, man. We're not dying here. Finally starting to get the hang of it. This is actually a really fun game, I can tell you. Someone actually said this came out between Mega Man X2 and X3. That's weird. Okay, so let's switch over to the D-Rap. forgot what that's called. Danger Rap? Yeah, that's it. This will be a lot easier. Hey, check out my uh, energy bar. Oops. Uh, it helps if you actually aimed for him, yeah. <laughs> they also have cool animations so you know that you've actually got the right weapon. Now if I'd stop being stupid, that would help too. Let me just do it again. And again. And again. And again. Wow, I screwed that up. Kind of butchered that a little bit. <laughs> it looks like we're still gonna win, though. Or as Mario would say, I'm gonna win! It's me, Mario! Oh dear me, if I'd stop doing Mario imitations, I might be able to beat this guy. Yes. Now we're talking two robot masters and one video. Now this is how you play the game, folks. Let me tell you. Yes. Man, look at those bright green balls. Hell, I don't have time to do a third stage. Hell, man. It's weird, because you start with four robots, right? And so three of those have to be weak against three other ones, and then there's a fourth one that's going to be strong against one of the next four robots. But you have no idea when you get a weapon, like if you've ever played this before, which one, you know, does what, or if you're going to end up with the one that doesn't work on any of the other three, so... Thunderbolt. Yeah, Thunderbolt can also be used to power machines, as Dr. Light said. I'll show that to you later, because I did figure that out on my practice run. So, select. Well, I'll be doggone. Look at this. Dude, I've done this before. Wait a minute. I did this when I played it in 2004. Didn't I? Uh, I can't even remember, you know. That might have been Mega Man 8 where I did this. Welcome to Big Eddie's. I'm Otto, Dr. Light's number one student. Unfortunately, I've lost one of my bolts, and so I have a couple of screws loose. <laughs> if you find my hyper bolt, I would appreciate it if you bring it back here. Anyway, I'll try my hardest. I'll make items out of any other bolts you may find. Select the item you want me to make. Cool! Wow, look at all this crap. Wow. We got energy tanks, we got a... This is a W can fully charge the weapons energy. Oh, big deal. Got a 1-up. That would actually probably be useful. This is Beat's Whistle. Huh. I don't know if I really want that. Exit from a stage if you've already completed it. If you've already defeated the robot boss. Okay, well it's good to know there's stuff here. I'll go ahead and take that. Well, actually, I don't think I did. No, that's okay. I don't need it anyway. Um, I'm up to 9.30. I wonder if I should stop here. Wait a minute, who does uh, Cloud work against again? I think... I believe it's Junk Man he works on. I don't know, I guess we'll find out next time. So I'll see you next time on Let's Play Mega Man 7. Bye now.